Hey everybody, it's time for another of the Mia Connect on air. We are having terrible technical difficulties. There's probably an echo. We can't get the sounds to work, but Brad Beal is here and we're just gonna press on. So welcome to the show, Brad Beal. <laughs> you need to put a funny hat on you too. Absolutely. Some All right. Paper. Let's talk about Brad Beal. First of all, where are you right now? I'm at Spill Lounge. <laughs> a lounge for the rest of us. I'd like a cat in the hat hat, please. Oh, absolutely. Why did you keep showing me these toys? <laughs> Where's the cat in the hat? Oh, <laughs> well, that's close. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, where are you? You're at Spill? I'm at Spill, yes. All right, tell us about Spill Denver, because it is a fabulous place with a fabulous rooftop. We are excited about Spill, especially because in 22 days, it's opening day, and you know what that means? The rooftop patio opens. And, and I, uh, I had to ask what 22 days was, and I thought you were going to pull my man card, because I didn't realize that's opening day. Plus, I haven't had a drink in 22 days. No. So, <laughs> yeah, so the rooftop patio opens, and that's really exciting for us around here because that means the winter's over, baseball starts, I'm a huge baseball fan, and uh, we really just start kicking here at, at Spill. Spill's been open for, this will be our 10th opening day. So wow, that's awesome. What do you yeah, guys yeah. do on specifically for opening day? Uh, we, we do, we sell tickets. We have a ticket package for the, the, uh, for the game. We have uh, two sections. We have a t-shirt that everybody loves. We have a t-shirt that comes out every year. It's the 10th year. And most people, like collect them, and they're awesome. You get a beer, a hot dog, a ticket, party on the rooftop. We open at 10 a.m. It's bananas. It's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. What Do you uh, do you have a meetup or some kind of invite for that? I, I just put, you know, it's so easy. You get, we have 600 tickets, and they're gone in a, a, a couple of weeks. So we, we really don't. You can go on the web page. You can contact me, brad at spilldenver.com if you need tickets. Um, yeah, th that's it. Or my Facebook page, just message me. Or tweet me. Yay, Red Beal. This, this is one of the reasons why I wanted you on the show today is because you are a hooker for social media. I look up to you. You have built so many successful pages based on a lot of the restaurants and nightclubs that you worked with. Love social media. At, at first, when I, I got into it, I, I was really vanilla at it. And I, and I just like, hey, it's happy hour tonight. Come to happy hour. Hey, it's ladies night. Come to ladies night. And I just did it to go through the motions. And then uh, I actually uh, got hooked up with this girl named Nicole Winkler, who we'll talk about later in the program, who kind of showed me the ins and outs of how it works, and I really super got into it. And uh, I started their Twitter page and Google+, Plus, and I started our Facebook page, and then our, you know, I tied it into our web pages. And uh, I just I love it. I'm, I'm addicted to it. Like, I actually hired somebody to do it. Cause we have three places now. It's a lot of work. So I hired somebody to do it, an intern. And she just sucked at it, to be honest with you, you know? And, and I, I hope she's not watching. <laughs> nah, she and maybe she needs a, a bitch slap of reality that she wasn't that she great at. She couldn't spell Google Hangout. But anyway, <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I just took it back, and I, I, <laughs> I enjoy it. You know, I like doing it, you know? Uh, with three places, there's a lot to juggle. But you kind of get into a groove, and, you know, a lot of your time. And, and I love it. I'm, I'm totally into it. Oh, you should, I wish I could, I'm going to change over to the, the uh, effects so I can play the cricket noise is what people probably heard when you first started off, which is this. Yes. Right? So it's that, I mean, you've definitely cracked the code of how to interact with people and get their attention of here's what's going on. And I've always said that, I mean, even before Highland Tech opens and with the Armory, and we'll talk about each of those, you had a huge following that most people have after a year on your Facebook pages. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's all it's all about engage. Like you said, it's all about engaging the people, it's it, the, the the fans and followers and all that. And it's just if you just put a picture of of happy hour, everybody knows you have happy hour. They don't care about happy hour. They're gonna go to happy hour if they have it or not. They want to see a picture of the food. Like foodie food porn is huge, especially with Highland Tap. Uh, every time I pick, pick, we had a grid special last night. I put a picture of on Facebook and on Twitter, and it's just like I'm coming down there. And I, I, even the soup of the day, I'll, I'll post a picture of the soup of the day, which I'm enjoying. So I take a picture, post it on Foursquare, on Twitter, and on Facebook, and all of a sudden, boom! And people are coming while I'm eating soup that fast and say, "Hey, listen, I, I saw your picture you of the soup." It, yeah, it's like it's like ringing the, it's Pavlov's dog. When I see it. I see a picture of just the, the Highland Top logo, and I think about Shrew Love's burger. Right. Yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, our you know our our icon picture is of the shroom lovers of burger on uh, on our everywhere. Right. So people right. see it and uh, yeah, the cat loves dog, like you said. So. It is. Yeah. Now you have um. Are you involved at all with any of the chefs that are chosen at the different places? Like at, at Highland Top, I know that was a former chef from I think um Vesta. Yes. No. Uh, from uh, Fidel's. From Fidel's. Fidel's. Yeah. <laughs> Eli Odell. Yeah. Eli Odell. Absolutely. Yes. In, yes. In, in the mountains, yeah. in a lot of places. But yeah, we took him in, and uh, he has just blown it up. It's, he's, he's unbelievable. He's, he he does all the specials. He makes all the soups. He runs the kitchen. He. Uh, I, I've been friends with him since our first opening day. You know, ten years ago. So yeah, it's awesome. I'm so so glad to see what he's doing with food. I'm not really a, a foodie. You know, I, I eat McDonald's once in a while, as you can tell by my build. But, you know, he's turned me into, I really care about what's in my food and, and you know, it being locally sourced and fresh. And it's just completely changed my life, to be honest with you, what I eat. You know, so Eli's been a huge, huge part of this Highland Tap success. And you are a diehard East Coast Boston guy, so that's saying a lot for you to know. Yeah. I think that's so totally full of shit to, like, what? the local footprint of what? Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, uh... Two of my partners are from Boston, and then the other two are from Michigan. So we're kind of we're kind of East Coast, you know. Uh, so we brought the East Coast thing here, but it's so much more laid back. I've been here 22 years, you know, so I've been here a long time. I'm, I'm a lot more laid back than I used to be, believe it or not. But I, I like to surround myself with people that I don't know that people I want to be around. And to be honest with you, I love the Red Sox, and you know, I can't stand. I love the Rockies too, but. These guys that come in and think they know baseball, come on. <laughs> Do you remember when I, I, um, I thought the, the, your icon for Facebook, it was a B, I thought it was like for Beal, and you were like, no, idiot, it's Boston. Awesome. It's a Bruin. Or Bruin, see? I don't even know. I'm like, see, it's a B for something. I just thought it was real snappy of you. So I'm going to bring up my favorite uh, social media moment, which was the email I told you this the other day, the email I got that said, Red Beal has joined Pinterest. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I, when I first saw Pinterest, I was, I was like, this is such a chick thing, you know. And then I started getting into it and following and sharing. And now I do it every day, at least I post one thing a day. I try to at least, you know. Do you still the have the whale that, tail pay, um, board? Because I thought that was pretty entertaining. Wait, which one? The whale tail board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Well, and I love that. That is saying that you're willing to try out anything. But again, that's when I posted on your wall. was like things I never thought I would see. Brad Beal is on Pinterest. I mean, it is kind of a sewing circle, but it, it's very smart to, I mean, because if you're into food porn, that's the kind of stuff to, to post. That's, I mostly use it for food porn for Highland Tap. For Spill, I use it for a little more risque stuff, you know, ladies' night, you know, pictures of, Pictures of like like you know iconic pictures of Bill on a Friday night when it's just bananas in here. And then our armory, we're doing it's a soccer bar. I know we could talk about that a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Army's concept is we show soccer during the day for uh, we're a Man City bar and an Arsenal bar, and uh, we have lunch. Our chef is Brian Laird, formerly of Borrello Grill, so the food is killer. And then at night we're a live music venue, so it's kind of two different concepts at once. Um, the soccer during the day and all the games. We open at 6 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays for breakfast, and people come in there and it's, it's bananas. It's, it's nuts. Like I don't get up that early personally because I'm the night guy, but uh, my partner Chris Bear, who's a huge soccer guy, influenced by uh, Europe, he was born in Germany, has a huge European influence, and I like you know Britpop music, so it was a natural fit, right? I love it. It's the most bizarre combo. I love it. Oh, absolutely. And we had our first Rapids viewing party there last Saturday. So there's like a rapid supported group, and I really not, wasn't in touch with the soccer community. And we had our first uh, Rapids watch party. There was 200 people in the bar. The bar holds 125. There's 200 people in there. They got drums. They're singing. They all have scars on. They're chanting. And I'm just like, what is going on here? How did I not become a part of this earlier? Because I want to be, you know, where, where the kids are, you know. Right, so, right. Cool kids. Yeah, I want to be with the cool kids, you know. And, did you guys uh, take a video of that at all? Do you have a YouTube channel for it? You know, uh, <laughs> it's funny you ask that. I was just meeting with somebody yesterday about getting our YouTube channel. That's one thing that I'm really lacking in is the videos. And, uh, you know, if I, I'm a really hands-on guy. I like to do everything myself. I'm just not good at taking videos, you know, personally. So, and this is my first Google Hangout, so. Woo! Yeah, exactly. Hello. 
Bad deal. Breaking yeah. in, bad deal. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I'm, I'm working with the company. We're actually we're actually having a wedding on the rooftop at Spill, believe it or not. Wedding reception. Oh, that's gonna be such a perfect spot. It's it really is beautiful. Yeah, we actually had one last year, and I didn't even think about it. I was like, wedding at Spill? Are you kidding me? This place is bananas. And then uh, the wedding planner came in and she, she transformed the rooftop, which is nice anyway. You know, it's got a waterfall on it, cabanas. It's got a great view of the city. And uh, she transformed it into this amazing sit-down dinner for 65 people on the roof. And I was just blown away by it. And so I've just been going after the wedding business, believe it or not. So I have two weddings booked for the rooftop this summer, which is, you know, I'm so excited for it. It's awesome. Did you take any pictures of that? Because that would be perfect for Pinterest. I, you know, I... <laughs> I do, I do. I do have some pictures. I have uh, I have some camera pictures. I need to get some I, I'll get some from the morning and I'll post them on the page for sure. It looked it looked amazing. It was really, really super cool. I'm gonna go with my effects because I wanna be hipster Mia. Oh party. Now it's a party. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. Armory opened uh, what, about a month ago? Four weeks ago, yep. Damn, Four weeks ago. And we kind of we did a really we're still doing a soft opening because we uh, we were in a rush for the inspectors to get it open so we didn't do like a, a blowout grand opening and I'm just kind of getting acclimated to the live music scene and the soccer scene and right now it's just it's working and we're really excited for the summer we're also having a huge opening day party there we rented out the parking garage lot right next to the place we're gonna fence it off we're gonna have a, a liquor tent a beer tent we're gonna have DJs all day it's gonna be fantastic. I might try and do a little Google Hangout from one of those too. That would be kind of fun, like live from the Armory. Tell me where all of your places are located. Okay, Spill is at 14th and Market, right in Lodo. Um, Armory is at 21st and Larimer, two blocks from the entrance to the stadium at Coors Field. And then Highland Tap is on 32nd in Vallejo in the Lower Highlands. So you've chosen all sort of shit show locations where all the action's happening. Well, a friend of mine owns. I don't know. Do you, are you familiar with the gin mill over yes, on, yeah. on Larimer over there? And a friend of mine owned it, and I just I was blown away by just two parts of Lodo, completely different crowds. You know, mm -hmm. this side of Lodo where Spill is, on 14th and Market, is more like the club crowd. You know, the kids go out, they get bottle service, they want to look cool and listen to the cool DJs playing techno music and EDM, and which I, by the way, am in love with. I got a story about that later. Okay. And the other side of town, which is like the college kids over on just six blocks away. You know, uh, Lodo is a tavern. In gin mill, it's all you know the frat kids and the 21 to 25 year old kids that just want a two dollar drinks and just get hammered and, and hang right. out. So I'm like, I got to be a part of that scene. The space opened up and it was relatively inexpensive, a great location. I'm like, I got to have it. So we kind of, it's kind of like three completely different concepts, really. Yeah, yeah. it really is a, an that. interesting trifecta. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Highland, we originally opened the Highland Tap, not to change gears, as a sports bar. And uh, with that had food, and now it's kind of like a, a gourmet burger place, you know, and a, a, a neighborhood staple that you know uh, we really embrace the community up there, and we do a lot of charity work. And mm -hmm. my partner Juan Pedro has been amazing at that, and because uh, he, he lives right next to the store up there, and uh, and it's just this is for Juan. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, it's it. We're really proud of that location up there, and uh, hopefully we'll open another one. That's our next thing is to open another one of those. So it it really has a, a family component to it for Highland Tap. I mean that, that I mean you see the strollers and everything and, and until you know seven or eight at night on a Friday. I love it and and I don't have kids so you know how I get in there. But even I feel comfortable. <laughs> well, you I know, a I'm, not a, I'm not a dog person or a kid person. Oh but no. up there it's all dogs and kids. It's yeah. dogs and babies, man. That's what it is. But I love it up there. It's 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 like a break from the downtown thing. It's literally five minutes away. You're trying to make me laugh, Ryan. I know I am. I really want you to kind of get in on this because I thought the pirate patch was pretty sweet on you. I, well, I'm, I think I'm drowning in this interview. So. <laughs> I know. Every, I'm, oh, I've got an echo, so I'm not going to irritate everybody with that whole thing. All right, so you said you had a couple of stories. So tell me, um, tell me some of your story. Yo, you said you can tell one about Spill. Okay, yeah, about Spill. So. Ooh, the monocle. I don't wait, hang on, hang on. All right, so, uh, yeah, so we uh, initially opened Spill without a rooftop patio, and we just opened it up, and we were the, one of the first clubs to play videos with the music, not just music, and it was a hit from the start. Now everybody does it, it's kind of watered down, but um, we're like, we have to build a rooftop patio, and the rooftop took us 
we've been open 10 years. It took us three years to build. And I can't uh -huh. even tell you how much money. We had so much, so many fights with the city um, about capacity, about the hours we keep, about the noise. And now everybody in Lodo has a rooftop pretty much, you know. So I think we're kind of on the on on leading edge of that. And now the first time last summer, we had the patio extended to the front. So for seven years, we never had the patio to the front. Now it, it holds 175 people. It's jamming. The music up there is fantastic. And it, you, you like the patio. You had a party up there, right? We did. I was about to mention that was our very first crave party. Crave Denver is a group that I'm involved with. And so, I mean, and that's a group of women entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. So that tells you that you can accommodate. It's not just club kick on a Friday night. We had it on like a Tuesday. It was beautiful. Well, it's, it's really two completely different concepts in one bar. We got the rooftop patio, which is great for you know parties, happy hour parties. Um, and then we do do bottle service up there in the commands and stuff, but it's just like a completely, people would love the patio and hate spill, literally. They're like, I hate spill, I love the patio. So they'll just come in and go upstairs, I'm like, hey, I don't know, whatever. And there's people He's that got hate got two thousand and feels that way, it's <laughs> Yeah, no, a lot of people are like that. They're like, spill? And a lot of people don't even know we have food at spill. Do you know we have food at spill? You know we have food. I do know we have food. Yeah, our chef, ben, Benny Hatfield, he's the one that kind of brought these weddings to light because he makes that caliber of food. We change our food menu every three months and uh, we just came out with a spring menu and it's got everything from seafood egg rolls to amazing tacos to these killer, I know it sounds ghetto, these chicken McNuggets, or nuggets, sorry, they are bomb. I'm telling you right now. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too, me too. I'm coming down. You know what I love about you is that you love what you do, so it's so varied and you can you, you can tell, I mean, you just you dig what you're doing in each place that you open, is, and it's really bringing community in, so. Absolutely, it's fun for me. I, you know, everybody goes, why are you doing social media? You know, because people ask me all the time, and I, I take it as a compliment, who does your social media? I'm like, I do our social media, you know? Mm -hmm. And they're like, why? Isn't it time consuming? I'm like, I love it. I, I really, I honestly do love doing it, you know? And I want to be better than everybody else, too. You know, and, and you are, and I, I, I do bow to you on that one. And I, I mean, I think what's great too is it keeps you in touch with trends and what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, the, like we talked about earlier, the big thing is engaging people. It's also finding out stuff and introducing stuff to people that may might not have heard of, of things before. Being with the cool kids. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So. Well, I also kind of use it as a barometer of what not to do when I see stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So um, I think we should, we should launch out our idea that we talked about yesterday about, about the, the overnight video. I, I, act, I absolutely think that is a viable business. I really do. I think that some people regret it after maybe the next day, but I think it's, you want to talk about it? Yeah, tell our viewers what we think would be fun because it's going to have a mystery science theater uh, component to it. So maybe we should get some feedback on whether that would be an idea. Yeah, absolutely. I want you, I want you guys to tweet me at, at Brad Spill. Or at Spill Denver, or at Highland Tap Denver, or at Armory Denver, and, and at, add in at the Mia Connect too, because I want to be in there. At the Mia, especially at the Mia Connect. And uh, well, you know, uh, before before I talk about that, uh, I have been so involved with doing the Highland Tap and Armory and Spill um, uh, social media that I've kind of been lacking on myself. So I want to build up my own followers at Brad Spill. Let me say it one more time. At Brad yes. Spill. I want to I'm build sorry, my <laughs> At Brad Spill. Uh, S P I L L and uh, yeah, so so I was talking with Mia yesterday, and uh, I want to start a business where uh, you go out with a camera because cameras are so small, so, so small now. You can even use your phone as a video camera and just film the experience of you going out on a Friday night or Saturday night or a bachelor party or a bachelorette party or just a birthday party or anything. You just follow them around at night and then show them what happened the next night and maybe add, like you said, the mystery science theater component to it. <laughs> the and director's you know, cult where yeah. you and I sit around and talk about. <laughs> I'll even do it for free night. I'll enjoy being really snarky and say, "Really, you dressed like that? Did you look in the mirror before you went out? You know, stuff like that." Kind of oh yeah. <laughs> I would. I would probably pipe in with, "Love your hair. Hope you win." That's one of my favorites. Yeah, having a running commentary during your night out. Really, that guy used that line on you. You know, that kind of stuff. So <laughs> it'll be kind of like girls gone wild, but it's you know. We can't say stupid people gone wild, but it could be that. And trust me, if there have been a camera out on some of the nights that this old hen went out, it'd be like, <laughs> get in line, sister. Get in line. How about it? Yeah. All right, honey. Well, listen. Shout out all of the different places because I'm gonna put them on um, my blog post at themiaconnect.com, also Facebook at the Mia Connect. But I want to have you tell us just real quickly all the all the um, 
handles for all your places. All right. Well, for, uh, we're at Spill Denver at Spill Denver, and it, the website is also SpillDenver.com. So check that out. It's more, uh, you know, if you want a bottle service, if you want a happy hour party on the roof, if you want to check out some food, if you want to just meet, be with the cool kids, you want to come to Spill Denver. And it's at 14th and Market in Lodo. And then the second place is Highland Tap and Burger, which is at 32nd and Vallejo. It's at Highland Tap Den. D-E-N is the Twitter handle. Um, great burgers, great neighborhood experience. You got to check. We won the, the burger battle in 2012. The yes. best, uh, the best, the shroom lovers burger, which you love so much. Yeah. So you gotta check that. It's a lot of sports. We have, uh, we have, um, we have the K, K State. Uh, uh, we're a K State bar. So the football and the basketball team, and it's bananas. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that one. And so that's a neighborhood bar. And then we just opened the Armory, which is you know the soccer bar and the live music. And that Armory, Armory Denver, ArmoryDenver.com is the website. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too much static. We, I, we, despite the fact that we're having, we're, you and I are social media gurus and we're having the worst technical difficulties, it's been awesome. Awesome. All right. All right, Brad, yeah. thank you for joining the show today. I appreciate it. That's great, Mia. Thanks. And listen, everybody, keep in touch because we definitely are going to try and figure out about how to do this video thing. Yes, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Thanks, honey. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. For the, the uh, for the game, we have uh, two sections. We have a T-shirt that everybody loves. We have a T-shirt that comes out every year. It's a tenth year, and most people like collect them, and they're awesome. You get a beer, a hot dog, a ticket, party on the rooftop. We open at 10 a.m. It's bananas. It's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. What do you uh, do? You have a meetup or some kind of invite for that? I do, I just pull. You know, it's so easy. To, we get we have 600 tickets, and they're gone in. Uh, a couple of weeks so we really don't you can go on the web page you can contact me brad at spilldenver.com if you need tickets um yeah th that's it or my facebook page just message me or tweet me yay red deal this, this is one of the reasons why i wanted you on the show today is because you are a picker for social media i look up to you you have built so many successful pages based on a lot of the restaurants and nightclubs that you work with love social media at, at first when i i get into it I, I was really vanilla at it, and I and I just like, hey, it's happy hour tonight, come to happy hour. Hey, it's ladies night, come to ladies night. And I just did it to go through the motions. And then uh, I actually uh, got hooked up with this girl named Nicole Winkler, who we'll talk about later in the program, who kind of showed me the ins and outs of how it works, and I really super got into it. And uh, I started their Twitter page and Google Plus, and I started our Facebook page, and then our, you know, I tied it into our web pages. And uh, I just, I love it. I'm addicted to it. Like, I actually hired somebody to do it. Because we have three places now. It's a lot of work. So I hired somebody to do it, an intern. And she just sucked at it, to be honest with you, you know? And, and I, I hope she's not watching. Nah, <laughs> and maybe she needs a, a bitch slap of reality that she wasn't that great at. She couldn't spell Google Hangout. But anyway. And <laughs> then, oh, here we go. <laughs> All right. Where are you? You're at Spill? I'm at Spill, yes. All right, tell us about Spill Denver because it is a fabulous place with a fabulous rooftop. We are excited about Spill, especially because in 22 days it's opening day, and you know what that means? The rooftop patio opens. And, and I, uh, I had to ask what 22 days was, and I thought you were going to pull my man card because I didn't realize that's opening day. Plus, I haven't had a drink in 22 days. No. I'm just so, <laughs> yeah, so the rooftop patio opens, and that's really exciting for us around here because that means the winter's over, baseball starts. I'm a huge baseball fan, and uh, we really just start kicking here at, at Spill. Spill's been open for, this will be our 10th opening day. So wow, that's awesome. What do you yeah, guys yeah. do on specifically for opening day? Uh, we, we do, we sell tickets. We have a ticket package for, and, uh, you know, so I just took it back, and I, I, <laughs> I enjoy it. You know, I like doing it, you know. Uh, with three places, there's a lot to juggle, but you kind of get into a groove and you know a lot your time, and and I love it. I'm I'm totally into it. Oh, well, you should, I wish I could. I'm gonna change over to the the uh, effect so I can play the cricket noise. Is what people probably heard when you first started off, which is this. Yes. Right. So it's that. I mean, you've definitely cracked the code of how to interact with people and get their attention. Uh, here's what's going on. And I've always said that. I mean, even before Highlands Hat opens and with the Armory, and we'll talk about each of those. You had a huge following. What most people have after a year on your Facebook pages. Yeah, absolutely. 
you know, it's all it's all about engage. Like you said, it's all about engaging the people. It's it, the, the the fans and followers and all that. And it's just. Hey everybody, it's time for another of the Mia Connect on air. We are having terrible technical difficulties. There's probably an echo. We can't get the sounds to work, but Brad Beal is here, and we're just going to press on. So welcome to the show, Brad Beal. <laughs> you need to put a funny hat on you, too. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about Brad Beal. First of all, where are you right now? I am at Spill Lounge. <laughs> A lounge for the rest of us. I'd like a cat in a hat hat, please. Oh, absolutely. Why do you show me these toys? <laughs> I don't know. Where's a cat in a hat? Oh, <laughs> well, that's close. 